Hello my fellow gamers and welcome to my let's play of Before We Leave episode 3. In this episode I plan to develop my newest colony as far as I can get it. I'm hoping to develop the industry for glass and that is something that I need to upgrade the buildings in my first village. So over here at Island 1 which I'm going to rename using this option here. So first town is going to be called Shelter Run while the second one is going to be called simply sand dunes. Between these two I need to share a lot of resources but in order to do this like I said in the previous episode I actually have to research shipping. Shipping will allow me to build ships, trading ships which are going to bring goods here and also a port and a shipwright who is going to build the ships over here. I'm going to build them of course here because this is where I have most of my resources and you can see that most of these buildings say that they are at maximum storage capacity. This is good because I will need all these resources to go from the first town to the second one. Over here I do need one more building and that is the school in order to get more peeps out of here. In this place I am able to produce the fruit and this is made by building orchards which is not something that I can do on the first island. As you can see it only has the ability to grow potatoes, tea and vegetables and something else that I have not yet discovered. But over here you can see that the fertility says that I can do fruit and this is why I'll do orchards here and then I will export that fruit over to the other town. I will build it like this. So this is where the school is going to be. Over here you can see the ruined spaceship. It's more like just a rocket with a window and it's something that I will use to colonize the next plant. In order for me to actually use the spaceship I have to get it a lot of resources and some are unknown meaning that I have yet to discover the technologies which are required for that. So I do have a lot of work ahead of me. Over here we have the school being built and the technology I think it finished research. Excellent. So over here I should now be able to do the shipwright which I am thinking of placing here and I am going to need the port to actually be able to transfer the resources over to this island. Now I could build it over here and have an elevator coming down from here so that this area here can get faster service to the newest colony. So I'll put the port here and I will make an elevator in here. So this way all of my peeps are going to be able to transport the goods that I have set up here, the wood, the tools, the stone and everything else that I need over here to the port and then from the port a ship will take it over to this port. Only then will I be able to develop this further. I mean I could go slowly here by gaining more population, more workers, then more tools, more stone but there's no need to copy and paste every production chain on every island. This one is specific because it's the one that's going to be producing sand and glass and over here in the shelter run they will be producing the tools, wood and everything else. Because I do have a lot of wood I could just use the transmogrifier to create more tools out of the wood. And over here I do have a lot of pollution as you can see very polluted, very polluted. You can see the grassland over here it's all dying and you can see just how bad this pollution is spreading. This is because of all of these buildings here which produce pollution. Now this is something that can only be cleared up once I actually gain 60 of the red technology and be able to do research on the pollution cleaner, a building which employs one of the peeps to go around cleaning all that pollution. Now that will of course require this person here from the explorer's hut collecting 60 of this red technology which is something that he's more than halfway through. So that shouldn't take too long. You can see now the school. It says it has workers. Now, I think the developers kind of forgot to rename this a little bit because these are peeps who are going to be born and go into the school and then become your workers later on. So they're not actually the workers. They do kind of work at the school but they are not the educators. They are the one getting educated. So once they kind of grow up they'll be added to the population pool and you can see that I'm now at 8 out of 8. So if I want to get more population I need to re-enable the building of this hut which I will unpause now and then I will have more peeps here. Of course there we go new research available already. No that's 40 actually that's power but I don't wish for power at the moment. I want to get this island to research cleaning. I now have 12 out of 12 and I can add some more homes. I think I can place a home here considering the fact that the road will go down here. So another home can go here and you'll see that this home will go up to 4 rooms. This one will stay at 3 and this one will have 3 rooms as well. 
So this way I spend fewer resources in order to get more homes. This should do the trick. Over here we can check the ship ride has been finished and now I need to build a trade ship to carry the resources. I'll actually build two just to make things faster and later I can automate it. And over the, here the docks have been finished as well. Actually it's called a port but I can call it a dock. And here I can take the resources over to the other island. They are kind of running low on food here and I should definitely start making more orchards but I'm out of food which is going to be a big problem I cannot yet actually tear this down it's up to four yeah there is no wood it's interesting though that you can have a lot of these three trunks and I have 75 of them but I can't use them I'm not sure how does the game let you use three trunks for something is it the wood or is it something else it will be interesting to find that, that out I am still here missing the wood needed for this home and this one is again full 8 out of 8 so actually I'm going to have to pause this and see if this gets carried over to the library from here and once it's empty I can demolish it and get some resources back and then hopefully finally start that pollution research. Now I can check whether or not my first ship is built. Nope, the resources have been gathered, it's not yet built so I'll have to wait a little bit longer for that. They are also running low on drinking water because I do not have a single well here actually. I kind of forgot to build a well and it probably requires some... No, actually just some stone. So this is an easy thing to build. I'll make it over here actually to keep it away from homes because homes reduce the effectiveness of a well. So as they make the well the water situation will be solved. You can see that I am out of water and out of food so really need that delivery of wood. I mean I could have just made a woodcutter here. I kind of was hoping to get enough resources from the first colony but that's been taking a while to happen. Well then again the woodcutter doesn't really cost anything. Actually it seems that he costs some tree trunks apparently and I could place this one where exactly maybe over here okay or maybe down here yeah the pips are really getting hungry at this point I guess the road could go here then I could make the woodcutter here and stop the destruction of this forest so that he can work here trade ship has been finally finished and now I can load up on some food and send it over here so that they do not die out of starvation due to me taking too long to actually make food locally but this shouldn't take long I'm going to order up let's see how much food do we have here so both vegetables and potatoes I say 10 potatoes 10 vegetables and we'll get this over here really quickly 55 research I'm still waiting on the deliveries now they'll be getting some more wood and I can pause the house I can even actually demolish it and then build the orchard next to the well and the home for fast food production but also I think that the ship will be loaded up really quickly nope not yet but should happen soon I think the first deliveries are coming here there we go 8 and 8 I think that's enough I'll send it over here and then I'll be able to feed these folks. Okay, I think that crisis has been averted. I'm creating some wood here and that should speed up the building of the orchard over here. It does require tools and I do have tools and there we go. Delivery of food just came in and I can pretty much automate this by using the shipping mode. I can say from port 1 from shelter run to port 1 to send dunes. can manage shipping, add a lane to send dunes. I can have it take food, ship 10, ship another 10 of vegetables and then let's say tools, 10 tools. Well over here I am going to pick up the red research and the orchard producing fruit but only a little bit later. So this is it and I just add a ship and that's it. The ship is now going to run automatically go over there pick up everything it needs and bring it back over here see the first fruit are being made here and you can see the increased production from the well and a house this house over here now I can build it because I have enough wood and I can go over two more orchard producing trees let's say over here although that one doesn't have a road access well in that case I can just put another road here through here and then I have can have two orchards 
one here and one here and I think well can go here. Let's check on the ship. It's probably over here filling up with tools, potatoes and vegetables. That's awesome. I do have a good production here so I shouldn't worry about the amount of food being left here. I do have some idle workers here because they have already produced the maximum amount that I can store in the warehouses but with the tools and stone and everything else being transferred I'm going to be able to create more although I need another trade ship because one single trade ship can only carry three types of resources well 30 in total and 10 of each here we go 60 finally so the production cleaner I can finally research that and then I'll need a second ship to bring in a, the stone over here as well and to take away some of the resources from here or to the first village now the sand dunes do need to be the producers of sand and glass but I haven't yet researched this that will take a little while longer I now do have a local production of wood but I will get all the food from shelter run over to sand dunes so the woodcutter here will be destroyed a little bit later okay so they finally finished getting all of this I can get rid of the building now demolish it and rebuild it down here I think the road is finally ready to be built. Yes, indeed. There we go. I will make another explorer hut over here so I can collect this ancient technology, send it to the library, and do the rest of the research necessary. The school is doing nicely, producing more folks for me. I just need to see where can I build more roads and have more homes. I guess over here. There really isn't a perfect solution here because the room here is so tight and there are only so few of the grassland areas that this is the design I'm gonna go with. I'm not really happy about it. The library I'm going to demolish at some point to get the road over here up and going straight up there. The trade ship is now coming over here. I think I should have an idle ship ready. There we go. So I'll use this one. And I can build a scout so I can scout out the remaining areas on the map. This is the one. The pollution cleaner has finally been finished so now I can finally get rid of all the pollution that's being created here. So I'm going to place one of them here and that one will be able to take care of all the pollution in this area but I will need a second one to actually speed up the reduction of the pollution. The second one I'm thinking about getting over here that should cover pretty much all the pollution. Although I do need a well and I need a well for the cleaners to use the water to clean the pollution. So I will deforce this hex here and put a well there. Let's see, silver heels. And the other is called Space Buster. So Space Buster is going empty and this is because the shipping route I used was a one-time thing. Because they ship only 10 or you can see how much to leave. So let's say I tell them to leave 25. 25 and 25 so everything above that they will take over to sand dunes but from there I want to leave 10 units of fruit and I want to carry over fruit over here to the shelter run so that with more food variety my peeps will be happier now as for this trade ship this one I'll do manually and just pick up let's say 30 of stone in order to carry it over to the second town sand dunes over here I will allow all of these products and raw materials to be placed here all the types of food so that the port won't be filled constantly they'll move the resources over to the warehouse that's the point of the warehouse being here now with more wood incoming actually i should have added some wood not just stone here let's say i transferred this and stay no less less than that let's say 15 and 15 wood because of this i can tear down the woodcutter, demolish him. I'll just add some more homes here. I think I need more population. No, I do have some idle workers, but I am going to need to find some slots for some more orchards and some more homes. So I'm going to unpause the construction of these over here and allow more population to be made. Also a well and an orchard and this hut a little bit later on. Now, what I would like to do is add a second lane to go from Shultran to Sand Dunes, but the thing is that the game will not allow you to have more than one shipping lane between two ports. So I would have to build port number two in Shultran and port number two in Sand Dunes to actually automate another ship. But what I can do is add another ship to this already existing lane and then just add the resources that I want to transfer. So I say units to leave 
20 wood I say leave 20 stone and I say leave 15 tea and that's it now the second ship will also pick up resources and send them over to the sand dunes now the woodcutter here I don't need it anymore because I'm bringing the wood from Shelteran now I have 38 red technology and in order to get to glasswork I need some green and red but this place will need power if I want the glasswork to be operational so I will need to research power next now I do have an idle ship this is my explorer I know it's not very original I'm just going to send him out and scout the remaining parts of this planet and see how many more islands there are as there is a lot of the planet that has yet to be explored I can just send it over like this and it should find anything that's along that path now I'm researching power that means that I can build a generator here to build that generator I need to find a spot for it on this mountain here so that I do not place any pollution here on the grasslands I have discovered something new let's see where that is I think it's on this island yeah there we go oil oil is another resource which I will need to harness in order to make the spaceship operational so that is something that I will have to work on this place is full of green technology some of the next technology that I need to research both requires green and red technology for this to work out I will need to take one of the ships and actually fill it up the green technology to be shipped over here so that over here I can research something that requires both green and red technology this is going to soon be finished and I need to find a way to the mountain so I'll make an elevator here I'll make a road going through here and I can build the generator here even though it's going to create pollution it's going to create it here on the mountain where I won't have anybody living or growing food at I do have lots more wood stone and tools here so that's good and I am creating so much fruit right now that I really need to export some of it and I should be able to carry a lot more of fruit over to Shelteran and there is one thing that I want to check in Shelteran no pollution no pollution and no pollution you can see how effective the cleaners have been I think the scout ship is idle I need to give him a chance to scout the other parts of the planet over here the boat ships are here this one is taking there we go so fruit is being carried but he can't seem to unload the stone and the wood I need to start spending that and I will because I, like I said I do need to build the generator here and that should take okay wooden tools so as you can see the pollution is going to be located around this building but I don't have anything built in the area where it's going to be built so I shouldn't worry about pollution so the generator will be built here and then I need to research glasswork that's right allows the construction of a sand mine and glass melter which produces glass and allows the construction of a marketplace where you can make luxuries to improve your peep smooth now that is something that I haven't shown you before and as soon as I set up the glass production I will show you how that works out so here I have a good amount of fruit although I will need more peeps to work in that industry so I should make more huts and another place where I'm going to have huts is over here so this hut can go here another hut can go here I will have to get a road through this area like this and I've just cordoned off this area again okay no no home here I have to get a road through here some more orchards and homes let's say a home here even though it's next to a well it's only one home so it shouldn't influence it too much I do try to get as much of the room used up as possible but it can be really problematic sometimes you can upgrade these buildings but it will not show you exactly what you can do until you research the technology required for this so irrigation is the technology required to upgrade these and I can do that until I actually reach the part of the tech tree you can see the question marks telling you that you have not yet discovered this so as you discovered everything on the first island this is how far you can get steel, oil, power, clothing, fuel, fountains, cooking, glasswork and so on that is of course stuff that will take a lot of time the second island is now fully operational it is getting its resources from the first one whatever it isn't producing and I will have more peeps here soon with the glass production being built here very soon the research just finished so I'll be able to do this I think I'm going to leave this for the next episode and I would like to thank you very much for watching and see you again in the fourth episode